Sir, we have to understand uh, where these words come. If the words come inadvertently, if the words come by mistake, then of course, apology is accepted. It's okay. But if the words come from a deep sense of insecurity, if the words come from a deep sense of wrong understanding of our country, if the words come from a deep sense of a faulty ideology, then nobody is going to accept the apology. The words uttered by the DMK MP from Dharmaburi, it came from a deep sense of insecurity. It came from a very deep sense of seeing India the wrong way. It comes from a deep sense of their faulty ideology. It comes from the deep sense. And he is not a one-time culprit. Continuously, I think he talked about family planning for Shivan Parvati many months back. So he's a repeat offender. In fact, the funny part is, his son, the said MP's son, studies in an international school in Uttarakhand. His son studies, doesn't study in Tamil Nadu. His son studies in the so-called what he termed as a Gomutra state there in Uttarakhand. And now he goes to a parliament, the seat of power where every person in India is being there. And then he talks all kinds of nonsense and garbage. When he comes out, when journalists like you immediately question him whether you have made some mistake by, by, by a, a slip of tongue, again it defends what he said is right. Then a reader like Vaiko, a senior leader who has served as an MP, took oath on the Indian constitution. When they ask MDMK party uh, founder Mr. Vaiko, do you agree with this uh, terming of Gau Mudra? He says, I also agree. Now we have to understand, such a systemic problem. So right now because of the backlash and everything, um, uh, the Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu might say we are sorry. The Organizing Secretary might say we are sorry. The MP might say we are sorry. No, sir, they are not. They don't feel sorry. I have seen them in for a long time. Tamil Nadu people have seen them for a long time. This kind of ideology has to be taken out of our country because this ideology, which talks about the DMK's ideology, is actually equal to Hitler's ideology. Hitler's ideology talks about supremacy. Any ideology which talks about supremacy, one people are supreme, one people are inferior. There is this theory that we are sent to uh, rule this country and somebody is not. That's how Hitler started. The same theory DMK, like you are inferior, you can't do work and you don't have brains. So when somebody speaks this theory, I equate that to how Hitler came in. And that is a theory that a country shouldn't want. It has to be nipped in this butt. So now this theory has to be thrown out. I feel very sorry because I'm using this very strong language because I'm seeing this for the last one year. They are only upping it up. They are not toning down. Sanadana Dharma eradicated, next level, north-south. Then uh, south is different, north is different, north is inferior. Now when you continuously speak this kind of language, please tell me what is the difference between a Nazi ideology and what is the difference between the DMK's ideology. I see both ideologies same only. When you, when you divide people based on their skin color and everything. Now, what is the long term solution? The long term solution is political only. Politically, DMK as a party has to be thrown out of Tamil Nadu. That is the only way this can come back to normal. I hope and pray the people of Tamil Nadu, in fact, the people from the northern part of India can't vote in Tamil Nadu. So the people of Tamil Nadu, they have to decide what kind of leaders should represent them to the country, to Bharat. I am sure 2024 would, would be the last nail in the coffin for whatever DMK is saying.